seven trendy teen hairstyles for school, summer, or any occasion in general where you really want to show off your hair doing skills. But in reality, all of these hairstyles are super easy and quick to achieve. But beware, these hairstyles may cause a colossal complimenting crowd. How'd you do that? Are you a hairdresser? Amazing. I love the new do. Will you do my hair? So cute. Your hair is awesome and freaking-tastic. So the first thing you want to do is brush your hair. If you don't, this might not come out the way that you had expected. And of course, I'm just teasing it up a bit to create a poof, and the poof is optional, but you all know that I love my poofs. And next, I'm just gonna add a little hair treasure over those bobby pins to cover them up. And then I'm just gonna begin fishtailing a small section of hair. And to fishtail, all you do is divide the section into two smaller sections and cross them over from left to right. And then after turning my hair into a little fishy bloop, 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 I'm just going to begin braiding that fishtail braid into a regular three-strand braid. And, of course, the fishtail being the third strand. That was so easy, wasn't it? So next, after I'm finished, I'm just tugging my braid a little bit just to give it a, a little bit more volume. And then I'm just going to be pulling down some tendrils to make it look a little messy because that's how I like my braid. And guess what? We're done, mermaid critters. Thumbs up if you remember the 80s cartoon Rainbow Bright. Watch, this video is not going to get any thumbs up. Well, anyway, this is the hairstyle I would see Rainbow Bright rocking. So I'm just clipping in some of my favorite colored extensions underneath my hair and brushing my hair over. So this way you can't see the extensions underneath. So next I'm just separating the colored hair extensions into one section and my regular hair into two other sections. And I just braided it down normally and there are loads of vibrant colors vibrant vibrant colors popping through next i did a quick topsy on the braid and added a few hair treasures and that completed this rainbowed look time to fly away on my unicorn bye So for this hairstyle, I'm putting my hair into a normal side ponytail and then tugging on the pony ring a bit to create some space to make a little hole and twist the pony through it to form a topsy tail. And then I'm just tugging on it a bit to add some volume and tightening it up some. Now it's time for more topsies. So using a rubber band, I'm just going to secure it about an inch away from the first topsy tail and repeat the same topsy tail steps over and over again because we're going to be making a bunch of mini topsies to form this really cute and creative ponytail. So when you get to the bottom, just secure it with the rubber band and you're done. Isn't that cute? But what could I do to give this look a little more elegance? Oh yeah, a ribbon of course. So I'm just going to be wrapping this beautiful yellow ribbon around each topsy and tying it into a bow at the bottom. And this just really adds a lot of girliness and vibrant color to this look. And now we're done, Topsy Tailors. For this lacy look, I'm going to begin by brushing my hair to one side and starting a regular Dutch braid at the top till I get to the back of my ear. And now instead of picking up hair to braid in on both sides, I'm only going to start picking up hair from the inside of the braid, or let's just call it the left side. And then on the right side, I'm not going to pick up anything. I'm just going to continue to braid it normally. So a Dutch braid is just a French braid backwards. And if you want to learn more about how to create a Dutch braid, I'll link a video below where I teach you how. So after using all the hair on the inside, I just braided it down normally and secured it with a rubber band. And I like to tug on mine a little to give it some extra volume. And of course, I added one of my favorite headbands. And I'm done. Alright, 
The first thing I'm doing is parting my hair evenly on both sides and of course bubbling up my hair at the top. It's not a poof, it's a bubble, sort of. And now I just tease my hair on both sides and I put them both up in piggy tails, but I like to call them bubble tails. Yeah, bubble tail sounds better. I tugged at the top to make each bubble tail look extra bubbly, of course, and now to form the small bubblegum bubbles. All you need to do is place a rubber band around an inch from the first one and begin tugging at it till you get your ideal bubble size. You can do small bubbles, medium bubbles, or fat bubbles like these. So after I can't bubble no more, I'm done. That was so bubbling easy, wasn't it? It was. So the first thing I'm doing for this botastic hairstyle is putting my hair up in a high ponytail. And instead of pulling it all the way through, I'm just pulling it only halfway to look just like this. And now I'm taking the excess hair that is in the back and pulling it around to the front and teasing it and then pinning it down so that way it'll stay in place. And now I'm just pulling it back on top of my pony to separate each side to form my bow. So now I just tugged on my hair a bit and secured both sides of the bow with bobby pins. And for extra hold, I'm using this Super Freeze Aussie hairspray to mold my bow into the perfect little ribbon looking thing. And I look like a Christmas present now. And if you look like a Christmas present, that means you're done. Yay, peeps are yummers. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of y'all are wondering about the title of this hairstyle. I know it's weird, but I swear, the end result of this hairstyle reminded me of a Stegosaurus Rex. I'm not even kidding. But anyway, all I did was create a Dutch braid, and the link to learn how to create a Dutch braid is in the description below, and I teach you how. So I did this without securing the end of the braid with a rubber band, because I'm going to be tugging out large sections on each side of the braid, and this will give me a large amount of hair that I need to tug out on all of the sections. So I just added one of my favorite headbands and that completed this look and this video. Thank you all so much for watching and have a glitterful day. Oh my gosh, Becky, look at her hair. It is so big. I wonder if she's one of those rap guys' girlfriends. I mean, her hair, it's just so big. I like big hair and I cannot lie. Those other girls can't deny. When a girl walks in with a really, really big weave and a big smile on her face, she gets happy. Uh, okay, this song's going nowhere. Please subscribe!